Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial with Augustus the Animator. In today's super short and sweet tutorial, I will be teaching you how to do this lightning effect. It's pretty basic, pretty straightforward, and more definitely more of like a launching point for you to make it more complicated and complex and add a background and all of that good stuff. But in general, there's not a lot of tutorials on how to do this, so I thought I would make one. And let's just jump right into it. It's going to be electric. All right, we're in our composition. I'm doing square at 30 frames a second. Do whatever you'd like. I'm just going to start with a line. Let's do a little bigger. Um, something white. I think I'm doing like a really, really, really light blue. Let's do a general lightning shape. I know that doesn't look like much, but you know, it'll be okay. Um, and it's only going to flash on there for a second. You can take the time to do all the little like doo -doo -doo little branches coming out of there if you'd like. I'm not going to take the time to do it because that's not the hard part of this necessarily. So we've got that. Um, let's do a... let's twirl this down under contents, or excuse me, not contents, click add, do trim paths, boom. Twirl that down um, to make our end it's starting at 0% make a keyframe. Let's go forward like five frames. Holding down command and hitting the right arrow. Crank that up to a hundred. And then let's twirl down our shape. Go into stroke. Go into or keyframe stroke width. And then we'll go forward, I don't know, 10 frames by holding shift command right arrow. And then crank that down to zero. So it'll kind of flash on and then you know, disappear mm, slowly-ish as it kind of, you know how lighting does, it kind of hangs out in the clouds for a second. That's a good starting point for now, and yeah, we can always adjust. Okay, let's move this forward in the timeline a little bit. Actually, we can chop it off by holding Alt right bracket, so our layer is only as long as it needs to be. And then we are going to do... What we're going to do is um, hit Command Y to make a solid. We're going to make this the same color. That's not going to work, it's too small. Just so like a bright white, maybe a little bluish. Okay. So we're going to do that, and then we remember generally where the shape of our lightning is. So now on our solid, let's hit the pen, hit G for the pen tool, and then around where the lightning bolt is. <clears throat> Let us just make a shape that, you know, kind of looks like a tornado. It just needs to be, you know, kind of in the shape of the lightning. God, that was like not super correct, but that's okay. And the reason we're doing a mask onto a solid rather than just doing a shape layer that looks like that is we can now go into our mask. I double hit M to bring all of these options down. We can feather it, which I find to be a little bit easier than adding like a blur effect to things, or it's just like, it's simple, it's easy to control. And then you can also do things like, um, you can expand it or you can shrink it down. Um, and so we are just going to do something like that I'm going to make this bottom part a little bit skinnier, so it's kind of bigger up here, thinner down here. Okay, and now let's chop off this to start with our uh, lightning bolt. Hit T for opacity. Uh, let's just make a keyframe, but crank it down to zero, go over, god, let's see, two frames? to 100, go over two more frames to zero, or then, sorry, go over two more frames, crank it down to zero. So yeah, there's kind of like a, just like a flash that happens. I might actually expand the top of this by adjusting our mask so it's looks like it's maybe lighting up the clouds and then coming down, or it's just kind of surrounding this lightning bolt. And on that note, I'm also going to bring down my mask, mask options again by hitting the M key twice. 
and feather this a little bit more, a lot of bit more, and expanding it or shrinking the expansion a titch. Okay. So we've got that. And then what we're going to do. Okay. So next, we're going to do a new layer and a new adjustment layer. And we're going to chop off the beginning of it to just line up with like our lightning. And we are going to add an effect called, let's see, under generate, do light rays, CC light rays. And then, let's see, let's just do, I'm going to move our timeline along just so I can see the whole lightning bolt. And then on the adjustment layer, on the effects, we are going to keyframe the center variable. And we're going to make that first keyframe be right at the top of this. Let's see, let's up our intensity, up our radius, maybe. Okay, and then, I know it doesn't look good right now, but I promise it will. And so then, let's just go forward one frame, just so we can still see our lightning bolt, and move this all the way down, just to like the base of the lightning. And I'm gonna hit U, and then I'm gonna make these keyframes be where they should in time, if that makes sense. So I'll move this guy to the beginning, and then I'll go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, look at that, to line up with kind of our lightning strike. Um, let's see. And what that does is it just adds some kind of like random um, rays of light that look like they could be sort of like arcing a little bit through clouds and things, as lightning does. Um, and it looks like, so we're going to keep going. The problem we're seeing right now is that this adjustment layer is being limited by sort of like the width of this shape layer because it doesn't have anything to affect after a certain point. We're going to add some more stuff. Um, some other layers, and so that won't continue to happen. Um, so that's happening to you. Don't worry about it for now. Um, right now, we're just getting it laid out and everything, and so far it looks pretty good. The one thing I will do is I don't want this little dude to be there. So if he's not lighting up the way that you want, then we can just like add a couple other keyframes, like that, go forward a little bit, and those all look fine to me. Just, I just didn't want any like a little ball of light to be hanging out by itself. Okay, so now that we have that, let's make a couple clouds to kind of round out this look. I'm going to hit Command Y for a new solid. I'm going to make this just a, like a little bit warmer of a gray. So maybe do like that. I want it to be like barely warm. We'll just do like, eh, whatever. Okay. Just so it looks like a little bit different than the lightning, maybe. A little bit of contrast is always good. Now I'm going to grab a my pen tool, do a cloudish shape. Look at that, that's a cloud, right? Don't worry. Again, I'm going to double tap the M key to bring down my mask at its properties. Feather this. And then, again, I know that it still doesn't look like a cloud. Let's do... Um, Fractal noise. I don't want to search for it, so I'm just going to type it. Noise and grain fractal noise. Perfect. Let's lower the contrast a little. Let's twirl down transform and up the scale. And then I might feather this a little more. Okay, and this, this is just meant to flash on. When the lightning strikes, it's not going to hang out in the sky forever, really. Um, so I get that this doesn't necessarily look super realistic, but it will for the purposes of what we're doing. I promise. Okay, so we've got that bad boy, which is great. What we're going to do is hit T for opacity. We're going to have it hang out at like 20-ish. That'll be its resting opacity. So I'll do keyframe there, and you know how when you're looking at a storm, the clouds kind of like do this little strobe light thing in between lightning strikes? We're going to try to do that right now. So I'm going to go forward two frames from my 
20% opacity keyframe, crank it up to like that, so 44, and then quickly realize that my solid layer is not in the correct position. Hit P, this should be 540, which it is not, because that's half of 1080, which is the dimensions of my thing. Great, okay, back to opacity. Let's, so we have our 20%, we have the 44-ish, let's go forward two more, go back down a little bit, maybe like that much, go forward two more, up a substantial amount, we'll say 75-ish, and then we'll go forward a bunch, 20 frames I'll say, and then go back down to 20. We'll just copy that keyframe and paste it here. So now we have sort of that little like murmur of lightning happening. Yeah, there we go. I would actually even expand this time a bit more so that it fades a bit slower. Um, great. So we've got that, and I think I want to actually put this under this adjustment layer so that it also lights up. There we go. It'll light up from this um, light rays effect, I think. I think it does. Yeah, because there it is. Okay. All right. So now we're just going to duplicate this. I'm going to bring this mask over here, kind of, with this hard science that I'm using. It's not hard science, that was a joke. Um, great. And then to make sure this looks different, I'm going to twirl down my evolution options, just crank this seed button so it's randomized, maybe even change the evolution a little bit, just so it looks different. I will also maybe increase the contrast, decrease the scale, otherwise it's going to look like the same thing. And I should also for both of these solid cloud layers, click on the blending mode, and go from normal to add, I think, because then they'll brighten where they overlap, which is important. Great. And then, let's see, let's move all of this, not all of this, excuse me, just the adjustment layer, the lightning bolt, and that flash layer. We'll move that forward in time a bit so I can have a little bit more time for these things to light up. Um, I'll move this forward, move this so that they're not on the same timeline. There we go, like that. And then I'm gonna make one more, just duplicate it, make this kind of just like a flatter cloud layer. I'm gonna double tap the M key, maybe feather this even a little more. Um, Make the brightness a little bit less. Again, for that variation, I will decrease the scale. What else will I do? This, what will you do? Um, and then click on the layer, hit U for the keyframes. Um, I'm gonna put this, the, that last keyframe right where the lightning starts, move this over here. So we got maybe a little too regular, but that's good. That's all 20%. Okay. Might actually make this less than 20% because now it feels like the whole sky is being lit up. Or it's kind of the clouds are hanging out there, which is fine. Okay. There we go. Now that I've done all this. Or set up all these keyframes in a very specific way. I do think it's like hanging out with some dead space a bit too much. So I'm gonna adjust these to compress the whole action of this. Hit B to uh, change the start of my work area. There we go. It's like just a little bit more exciting. Obviously you can mess with that timing any way you'd like. And I also don't like that light ray hanging out there for the length of this. So I'm going to cut that off right at the, right at the last keyframe. So hit Alt, right bracket. Um, go to, f I don't know, four seconds, hit the N key to adjust my work area there. So I can just play this back and look at it. 
I'm not liking that last little that guy. That just looks a little too, I don't know, not real, for lack of a better term. So I'm just gonna move him. You can you can see how moving it, like what it does. So feel free to play with this any way you'd like. I'm gonna do just that, I think. Actually, I'm gonna do that. So there's variation between all the frames. And I might actually take both of these, um, hit Alt, left arrow to move them over a frame each. And then adjust my the length of my layer accordingly. Yeah, because if that's if this is happening too slowly, um, we will. It's gonna look a little. It's just gonna look weird. It's gonna look like a weird effect of like what happened. But if it's quick enough, it'll register, but it won't. Um, look obvious or like look like oh he didn't affect because you never you never wanted to in my opinion be super apparent like all of your methods and everything uh whatever that was a weird explanation okay yeah there we go it looks like a lightning bolt so we did it that's all i've got for you i wanted to keep it short and sweet i did thank you so much for watching Please like the video, please subscribe, it makes a big difference and makes me really happy. Um, comment anything below of any questions you have, anything you'd like to see, anything you want to help with, just let me know, I'm happy to help. Thank you so much and have a great day.